How much weight can you lose in a month? Weight loss is a common goal for many people. There are many different ways to lose weight, but the most popular way is by dieting and exercising. The average weight loss per month is somewhere between 5 to 10 pounds, but many factors determine how much weight you lose. Some people can lose more than 10 pounds in a month, but this is not common and not the norm. The number of pounds lost in a month depends on the individual's metabolism and their diet. The best way to start losing weight is by setting a goal and finding an appropriate plan for you. You can also read up on other diet plans online to see if any of them sound like they would work well with your lifestyle before deciding which diet suits you most. But regardless of which diet you choose, the primary source of weight loss is always calorie deficit. How many carbs a day to lose weight? Carbohydrates have a lot of benefits for our body, such as providing us with energy to keep us going throughout the day. They also help regulate our blood sugar levels so we don't feel hungry all the time. However, excess carbs will cause us to put on extra pounds especially if we are not physically active. The U.S. Dietary Guidelines recommend that we get between 45 and 65% of our calories from carbohydrates. And with the recommended calorie intake anywhere from 1,800 to 3,000 calories a day based on gender, age, and activity level, this translates into at least 200 grams or more of carbs per day. For example, for an individual seeking to consume 2,000 calories a day, they should aim for 900 to 1,300 of their calorie intakes to revolve around carbohydrates. 2,000 times 0.45 equal to 900 and 2,000 times 0.65 equal to 1,300, equaling out to about 225 to 325 grams of carbohydrates. Many popular low-carb weight loss diets and health professionals recommend a range from 25% to 40% of your daily calories. You can increase your protein intake to prevent hunger and build muscle mass. This will be covered in the next point under portion control. Develop proper portion control. Portion control is a method of controlling the size and frequency of portions of food eaten. Portion control is a technique to help with weight loss and dieting. It is also considered a way to avoid eating too much or too quickly and to help people with diabetes manage their blood sugar levels. 5 Steps to Proper Portion Control Plan and measure food before you cook it. This is the best way to control portions because you know exactly how much of each food item will be consumed. You can use measuring cups or spoons or more accurate kitchen scales. Measuring cups and spoons can be used for liquids as well as solids, while kitchen scales are accurate for measuring both. Limit salt and sugar. As per discussed in the previous video, do limit your salt and sugar intake daily. You can always use healthier alternatives to get that similar salty or sweet taste. For a start, our minds may reject the taste, but over time, we will begin to accept this new, healthier habit. Number three, Use smaller plates. There are many reasons why people eat more when they use bigger plates. One of them is that our brain associates the size of the plate with how much we should eat. We tend to fill up a big plate because it makes us feel like we've had enough. With small plates, you will be able to serve yourself a smaller portion and still feel satisfied. Number f Fill up fruits and vegetables first. When you fill up fruits and vegetables first, you will unconsciously fill a bigger portion of these two first. This is especially true when you're really hungry at a point in time. Most people would naturally add carbohydrate food like rice or pasta first. This will result in too much carbohydrate in your portion. This small tweak will tremendously improve your eating lifestyle everywhere you go. Number f Use your hand as a guide. 
This is by far the simplest method for portion control. Use your fist size for your carbohydrates like rice or pasta. Your palm and fingers will be the size of your protein like meat or fish. Your palm will be the size of your vegetable. And finally, whole fruit for dessert. Do note, different people will have a slightly different portion as your hand size is never the same as your friend's. How many steps a day to lose weight? How many calories do you burn from walking? It depends on your size and intensity. Harvard Health Publishing estimates that a 120-pound person will burn 85 calories per mile. A 160-pound person burns 105 calories per mile. And a 200-pound person burns 125 calories per mile walking. You can see how these numbers would start adding up when you walk long distances. 10,000 steps are equivalent to about 4.5 to 5 miles for a person who weighs 120 pounds. It also equals about 425 calories burned, 525 calories for that person weighing 160 pounds, and 625 calories burned for someone weighing 200 pounds. It can be hard to get an idea of how many calories you need to burn to lose weight. A pound is equivalent to about 3,500 calories in total, and there are about 3,500 calories in a pound of fat. So, if someone burned 3,250 calories through exercise, which is equal to what would be contained in a pound of fat, it might not necessarily. You can burn one pound per week by stepping on the scale 500 more times, for example. Conclusion Weight loss is a journey and not a destination. It is about how you feel, how your clothes fit, and how you feel about yourself. It is about finding what works and what does not. The weight loss process is an ongoing one that requires dedication, patience, and perseverance.